2019 has seen an explosion of new top-notch soundbars from all the major audio players. For those of us considering getting on board the soundbar wagon, you'd be surprised by how much more you can enjoy your daily Netflix and movies with even a halfway decent soundbar. As TVs get thinner and thinner, it's no surprise that their built-in speakers seem to just keep getting, well, worse. And with very little room for decent speakers, audio suffers. And our beloved Star Wars booming effects can come off very tinny, narrow, and for the most part, unimpressive. Enter soundbars. Soundbars can take the muffled, thin audio that comes out of your sexy new TV set and turn into a theater-like experience. You get the sheer enjoyment from upgraded audio quality and surround sound without the cost or mess of a full speaker and receiver setup. So, you're interested in getting yourself upgraded, but there are so many soundbars to choose from. In this video, we tested more than 20 of the best soundbars in the market with varying budgets and features, and from that list, we selected our picks for the top four soundbars to get in 2019. We'll try to keep this rundown short and concise with as much detail as possible to help you choose your next soundbar. Starting our list at number four is the Yamaha MusicCast Bar 400. Although being the most affordable soundbar on our list, the Yamaha MusicCast 400 is definitely no slouch when it comes to providing excellent value and advanced features. The Bar 400 is the latest model from a company that is practically the pioneer in the soundbar category that we know today. The Yamaha MusicCast Bar 400 arrives as a two-channel soundbar with a separate wireless active subwoofer included in the package. If you're interested in multi-room sound and are willing to invest more to turn your setup into a full surround system, this model provides that option. In our testing, the included wireless subwoofer added powerful, punchy, and accurate bass to our movie watching experience. But that's not all. The soundbar offers a wide array of features and technologies that elevates the listening and home theater experience. Among Yamaha's key features are MusicCast wireless multi-room audio technology, Wi-Fi access to the most popular music streaming services, optional wireless surround sound speakers to enhance audio coverage, and voice control via Amazon Alexa devices. Audiophiles out there will love to hear that the Bar 400 supports high-res audio up to 24-bit, 192 kHz for MP3, WAV, AAC, AIFF, WMA, and FLAC file types. The unit includes one HDMI input and one output, a digital optical audio input and an analog input, as well as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and AirPlay wireless options. The Yamaha Bar 400 is a middle-sized soundbar that keeps things simple as far as design goes. We liked its simplistic design with curved edges surrounded by a metal grille. It comes in black with a brushed metal finish along the top, which we found to be very well made. Before moving on to our next pick, here's an overview of the pros and cons of the Yamaha Bar 400. Pros, great sound with movies, punchy accurate subwoofer, and it's included in the package. MusicCast multi-room audio with optional addition of wireless rear speakers. Quality build and design. But as with everything in life, there are also a few cons. We don't get Dolby Atmos support on this soundbar. Only one HDMI input. No front display and a pretty crammed remote control. The bottom line, if you're looking to expand your TV's built-in audio with a budget-friendly soundbar and your eyes are not set on one of the high-end soundbars, the value for money you get with this soundbar is quite impressive. Coming at number three on our list is the LG SK10Y. To complete the experience, LG included a wireless 200 watt front firing subwoofer that is more than capable of handling deep bass. We do, however, have a small issue with the soundbar's size. The SK10Y is large, very large. Coming at 65 inches total width, it is the largest soundbar LG has ever produced and requires a wide table or wall area for mounting. Due to its integrated Dolby upfiring speakers, it cannot be positioned inside a cabinet. Just keep that in mind when considering the soundbar and planning your next media cabinet. As for appearance and materials, the large speaker casing is well built with a streamlined design and has a prestigious appearance, as we've come to expect from LG's latest audio products, so thumbs up for that. Feature-wise, this thing is a beast. It practically checks every box when looking for the ideal feature-rich soundbar. It offers Dolby Atmos with excellent home theater soundstage. Also, it features tuning and digital signal processing from the high-end manufacturer Meridian, including bass, space, and truly awesome height elevation, raising the sound to the level of the screen. Both HDMI 2 ports have 4K HDR support, and for streaming music, there's Bluetooth 4 and Wi-Fi built in. There's also an option to purchase rear wireless speakers separately. Before proceeding to our top two picks, let's summarize the pros and cons of the LG SK10Y soundbar. Pros. Really good Dolby Atmos sound with rich and immersive audio. Support for a variety of features, including Chromecast built-in and the HDMI switching with 4K HDR compatibility. 
Sound is loud and immersive with focus on clear dialogue, something we always look for in every soundbar. And lastly, the option for added rear surround speakers is always welcomed. Cons. While Dolby Atmos is supported, its less common counterbar DTSX is not supported. The bar isn't very musical, and the subwoofer output doesn't blend well at times. The main speaker is very large, it may not fit in many standard media cabinets. So who is it for? The LG SK10Y is best suited for movies and games played on large TV screens, and less for music playback. Overall, the soundbar does a great job in providing an immersive experience with movies, and its skill with Atmos movies is very prominent. So. If you want those room-filling atmospheric effects, but don't want to bother with a full receiver and multi-speaker combo, it's definitely worth a look. Moving on to number two on the list, the Samsung HW N950 soundbar. Let's just say it right off the bat, our runner-up soundbar, while not perfect, currently stands out as one of the very best propositions out there for object-based audio. Samsung has joined forces with its latest acquisition, Harman Kardon, to take care of discerning listeners by delivering a sound that is dynamic and spacious, with clear vocals, and the difference is pretty damn noticeable. The N950 fully supports both DTSX and Dolby Atmos formats, so you're covered in that area. We searched for a complete room filling setup and we got it here. The soundbar packs a complete audio system experience, supporting no less than 7.1.4 audio channels. Let's break it down. You get 18 speakers in total across the system, including the soundbar with six drivers and three tweeters along the front, a side firing speaker at each end, plus two up firing speakers. It really doesn't get any more room filling than that. For large rooms, that's a definite winner. The included wireless active subwoofer is a bass reflex model with built-in amplification and a side-firing 8-inch driver. The bass is nothing short of booming. We had to turn it down a bit to prevent the floor from shaking, so all of us bass lovers will have plenty to be happy with. In terms of look and build quality, the bar pretty much follows its predecessor. The build quality is excellent, with metal grills at the top, front, and sides, along with a brushed metal finish to the edges and rear. The N950 comes in black, or as Samsung calls it, Midnight Titan. The physical size of the unit fits 55-inch TV screens and greater. What about the built-in features? Let's begin with ports and supported connections. The bar has three HDMI ports. One of them is an output with ARC to deliver audio from the TV set. The other two ports can be used for connecting Blu-ray players, TV boxes, and other types of media devices. The bar also comes equipped with an optical audio port as well as built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Amazon Alexa, smart things, and support for Samsung's own multi-room system. The Samsung headline features obviously its great ability to support both Dolby Atmos and DTSX with a full 7.1.4 speaker configuration. The major hurdle here comes with the $1,500 price tag. However, when you consider all the modules you get for a complete alternative, the full Dolby Atmos system and experience, it seems to be within the acceptable range. Before presenting our top pick, here are the pros and cons we see in the Samsung HW N950 soundbar. Pros, impressive and wide soundstage. Support for both Dolby Atmos and DTSX formats. Easy and quick setup. Good build quality. Strong and accurate bass performance. Cons, pricey lack of enhanced audio return channel. The system's potential was designed with large rooms in mind, so it might not be ideal for smaller rooms. Samsung's N950 soundbar proves to be one of the most complete and accurate soundbar systems for recreating a full Atmos experience with its multi-directional sound and deep bass from a full speaker array. Sure, it's not perfect, but it's definitely a step in the right direction, provided that you have the budget and space. Which brings us to number one on our list and our top soundbar pick for 2019, the Bose Soundbar 700. We've spent a whole month with the Soundbar 700, getting to know its ins and outs, and testing to see how it fits into our everyday life. We can start by saying that it has really delivered on its promise, and here's why. Let's begin with the Soundbar's audio performance. Well, it's no surprise that the feature we are looking for the most is sound quality. In our extensive testing, the Soundbar performed extremely well, with very rich sound and very precise and clear vocals. Even without adding the wireless subwoofer unit, it still delivered rich bass for an excellent movie watching experience. While the soundbar lacks support for Dolby Atmos, there's still a limited selection of titles that offer this format. At the same time, when we did watch Dolby Atmos titles, the lack of support was pretty much negated by the bar's punchy delivery of wide and rich soundstage. Inside a closed room, sound felt like it was bouncing off the walls. Audio separation was very distinguishable, to the point where we unintentionally directed our eyes from watching to identify where some explosions were coming from. 
The next aspect of this Bose soundbar we're going to discuss is their intricate designs. Building on the recognizable aesthetics and the success of their previous generation design of the SoundTouch 300, Bose has opted to keep their winning formula. The unit arrives in black or white colors. And what we can tell is that Bose really didn't settle on anything as far as design goes. The materials and build quality are top notch with the aluminum grills and tempered glass top and the overall size of the unit being a perfect fit for 55 inch screens and larger. Overall, the clean looking soundbar blends perfectly with our media room's contemporary design. The only small design flaw worth noting is the lack of visual indication of source and volume on the unit itself. That's definitely not a deal breaker. That leaves us with features and value. So, this time around, Alexa is here, and she sounds damn good on this very large speaker. We were able to easily use the bar's extensive 8 microphone array to give voice commands to control our smart home devices, audio volume, and other controls. All hands free. The microphones did a fantastic job picking up voice from across the room, even while loud music was playing. And the best part for Amazon users? The built-in Alexa feature saved us the need to purchase a separate Echo device. Setting up the device was fast and smooth, overall taking us about 15 minutes. The Bose app literally walks you through the setup and calibration process, step by step, connecting to the soundbar and base module as needed. Wi-Fi setup and connecting Alexa was also simple, only requiring our Amazon credentials to complete the process. The remote control is universal and programmable, which is fairly convenient. The remote is very clean and sleek looking, but it's sometimes difficult to find the buttons we need quickly enough. As far as value goes, the major caveat is the costly subwoofer module that's available for people who are looking for more bass, although we found that the lows produced by the bar's built-in subwoofers to be adequate. Let's quickly review the pros and cons for the Bose Soundbar 700. Pros. Immersive surround sound with wide soundstage and clear dialogue. Amazon Alexa built-in, supported by an 8 microphone array. Expandability options with rear surround speakers and subwoofer unit. Beautiful premium design with the addition of a white color option. Cons. The lack of support for Dolby Atmos and DTSX is not ideal. Upgrading the setup with a matching subwoofer is very pricey compared to other competing premium offerings in the market. Only one HDMI port, which often limits direct connection options. So, bottom line, is it both Soundbar 700 for you? The bar is our highest ranked soundbar for 2019, and for good reasons. We love what it brings, with huge emphasis on the most important aspect, which is sound quality. Bose has really stepped up their game in the soundbar space with their latest model, and although it has room to improve, there's enough here to be perfectly satisfied and happy with this choice. Alexa support, improved dialogue and soundstage, a winning design, and a universal remote control are just a few of the added benefits we get with the new Soundbar 700. Simply put, the Soundbar 700 is beautiful, functional, and its audio quality justifies its cost compared to other products within the same price range. You can find out more about all these products we mentioned here, including specs, features, and pricing. Just hop out of the description of this video below. We have a lot more tech reviews and recommendations in our vault, and many coming up soon. So feel free to join our family and subscribe to our channel below to get notified about future videos. Did you agree with our list? Any of your personal favorites you'd like to see added? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time.